keep backing up. Come on. Alright, what we got? No? Oh, that was the one you wanted to delete? Okay, sorry. Okay. We're gonna put it real, like here. Okay? You're okay. Are those retail parts? Okay. Uh, the 64, for the night. Today we had a change. We got an email today, 513, which is next Tuesday. I think it is next Tuesday. Poly 1's coming in, uh, so they'll be here at 2 o'clock. So we want to make sure everything's cleaned up and ready to go, okay? Uh, and also the Kaizen events, some of the dates change for some people being out, so make sure you check those. Uh, Alright, so I know people took pictures of my drawer, of course, when I'm not here to defend myself, so... Obviously, that was the before and after of what I had going on. And for some reason, back, back, miraculously, all the garbage that was on my floor was picked up, too. I don't know what happened to that stuff. So I do appreciate whoever picked it all up. Uh, but obviously, it did take 20 minutes to clean that out. Obviously, there's stuff in there that I haven't used for 14, 15 years, so I do not need it. So that's where we... I didn't organize the waste. I actually got rid of what I didn't need. So obviously, we got that going. All right? We have also... We gotta talk about next chapter. All right, chapter 19. I'm sorry, chapter 18. All right, the real juice of lean. I think this is really uh, listen close for the next couple paragraphs. We have a principle at our company that simply states: there are two kinds of people in the world: givers and takers. Our goal should be to eliminate all the takers out of our lives as fast and as furiously as we can and be profound giver to all humanity. Another way of saying it is, there are two kinds of people in the world, happy people who are focused on happiness of others and people who are unhappy because they are focused on their own happiness, givers and takers. It is a profound concept that I really come to grips with in the course of my life that has differentiated how I conduct myself in every situation. I am not, a, I am not negotiating the advantage. I think in terms of creating a win-win with an emphasis on helping others. I found that every time I act as a servant, life gets better. And when I look for what's in it for me, life gets ugly. In applying this principle to lean, I found the same to be true. The real juice from lean comes when you start giving back. We've created a lean organization whose primary focus is to, one, serve and deliver value to our customers, two, grow and fully develop our people internally, and three, give back to the community and strengthen the business environment. These three activities will help and improve the quality of people's lives around the world and, it's, and that it's exciting, okay? So I think that I think we can go for that in life. We want to be with people like that kid there that's happy and smiling about what he's doing, that person that's visible and complaining all the time, right? So, givers and takers. 